Hello everyone, welcome to Sim Airport. Now, the airport that you're seeing right now is not what the title is. This is not Indianapolis International. This is actually the airport, the end of the airport, where uh, on the last series that I just did from Series 6, I decided to, instead of starting a whole new airport over for the next series, I was going to sell this one, get the profits out of it, and then start the new airport. Um which is what we're going to do now. So this episode is really, it's the first episode, but it's kind of a prequel, really, um, because we want to be able to go in, look at the terminal for Indianapolis International, and then kind of start planning it out um, here on the actual map to kind of see what's going to go where, how's it going to work, um, you know, how's ticketing going to work, and all of that kind of stuff. So... I have had let this game run for a while. Um, I don't remember exactly what day it was when uh, when I when I stopped recording. Um, but the game's been going total of about thirteen hours. I've been having to you know increase fuel capacity back and everything um, just to kind of help offset some of that balance and and to make some more money. Um, so it's taken a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to, but it's it's been helping. Um, speaking of, I, I'm going to go in and buy a little bit more fuel here. So let's buy, let's go up to, let's go 50% capacity. So we'll buy that. So that's 1.2 million. Um, but the advantage that we've had is that our valuation for the airport, the airport value is almost $10 million. Okay. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely awesome. At the end of the series, you know, I think we were at maybe around a million or 500,000, something like that. Um, so that's great. We're going to have uh, a lot of cash available to us. Um, granted, if we, if we were to sell now, we'd have about $6 million in cash, which we're really going to need. Now I'm debating whether or not, you know, we're actually going to need to to buy any more land. With the way the airport is designed, I don't know, we may or may not need to. Um we we might need to just so we can have the runway space. Uh and then this in here can be our uh terminal and 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 everything else. But let me show you um let me show you the map or not the map, but the the terminal map actually, yeah. Uh let me show you that. So here is Indianapolis International Airport, um, which of course you can, you know, just ignore all of my icons and everything that are, you know, down here at the bottom. Um, so actually, let me do it this way. Nah, it's fine. It's okay. So anyway, this is an Indianapolis International. Uh, let me zoom in just a bit so you can kind of see what's, what's going on. Um, so there are two levels to it. Um, you actually have, this isn't technically an underground level, but it is a lower level to where when you go to pick people up, you drive in this way and then pick people up here from where baggage claim is, or you drive up uh, on the elevated part to drop people off. So, you know, when we're, when we're thinking about what we're doing here in the airport, we're going to have... Um, you know, our top level that's going to be here for ticketing and all of that kind of stuff. And then we'll have uh, we'll have baggage claim down here underneath on this bottom level. So and then we'll also have our uh, um, our underground roads coming in here to pick people up and, and so on, too. So um, which working through the logistics of that is going to be interesting because I, I haven't actually done that yet. So I'm not entirely sure what that's going to entail, but I think that's going to be a lot of fun to try and figure that out. And, and I haven't looked at any videos or anything yet because I want to be able to try and figure it out on my own, uh, instead of trying to rely on, uh, other people. Um, so back to this. So when you're looking at this, obviously, so we have, um, we have ticketing right here. Okay. So is that right? Yeah, that that's, that's ticketing. Um, the, 
center area right here. So this is the Civic Plaza. Okay. So you've got, there's a bunch of shops and, and all that kind of stuff. And there's food courts and, and all of that that are out here. And then you go into the security checkpoint, either over here on this side for Terminal B or over this side on Terminal A. Um, and then once you go through the checkpoint, then, you know, if you go left, then you're going out of the security exit. So the security exit is right here and right here. Uh, or you go over here to the terminal. Okay. Uh, and then, as you can see, there are uh, moving walkways, you know, that are in here. So we'll definitely implement those. Um, we obviously will have, you know, going in one direction and coming back in the other direction. And then really the rest of the terminal itself is, is pretty much seating. You know, we do have some restrooms and we have, you know, a, a few shops and stuff like that that are going to be around here, but there's not really a whole lot. Uh, same with over here in concourse B a has more than what B does. Um, but again, there's not a whole lot down through here. Um, now we have, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 gates by the looks of it. And then there's a bunch of tiny gates back here. Uh, obviously, you know, we won't be able to have that, um, back here, maybe a couple, maybe like two small gates here at the end. And then, you know, it looks like maybe in here is where we have some of our larger planes and over here definitely on the outside is where we have some of our large gates so maybe here on the outside we can do let's see there's one two three four five here on the outside so our extra large gates can go here on the outside and then the medium gates can go here on the inside same with this over here as well um, and then looking at you know how things work obviously we can't have this uh, as a circle or anything um, but this will allow us to have, you know, an es or our escalators going up and down right here in the center to where people can then when, as they're leaving, go down into this area. Um, I think this is a walkway. Is it a walkway to, it's a pedestrian. No, that's the pedestrian bridge to the garage. So people will come down the escalator and then go into the baggage claim area little disclaimer here. I have only been beyond the security checkpoint in this airport once. <laughs> I don't fly very much. I have, I have flown twice in the last, well, let's see, this is 2019. So, uh, twice in the last 18 years. <laughs> um, and one of those times was before September 11th. One time was after September 11th. And that one time after September 11th happened was um, the year ago, two years ago. It was two years ago when I flew. So I flew once 18 years ago, and then I flew again 16 years after that, two years ago. Um, I don't travel very much. And if I do travel, it's usually in a car. So, yeah, best thing for me to do is to go ahead and design Indianapolis International Airport, right? Makes total sense, right? <laughs> anyway, all right. So that kind of gives you an idea of uh, of, of how we're going to be doing this. Um, I personally am not entirely sure. I'm really not entirely sure how ticketing is set up per se. Um, I mean, it looks like it's coming out this way. So, you know, your queue line for the, uh, or your queue for the ticketing is coming in through here. So, you know, you'll walk in, you'll go to the counter, um, either, I don't know if it's on this side and that side. I think that's what it is. I think it's on this side and that side. Um, and then you go through this way and then come into here and then obviously go in through security. Um, I think this over here is your international flight. So those are going to be over here. So I think 54, if we look at that, does it tell us what that is? Pretty sure that's the, um, that might be customs, maybe. I don't know for sure. But it's very possible. Then again, it also could be down here and I can't read that. I really can't. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, um, oh no, customs is down here. Ha, huh? okay, got it. 
All right, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay, international arrivals. That's what this is over here. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Okay. So anyway, that's that's the idea. That's what I want to do. Um, let me go back into the game because it's just it's just kind of running by itself now. We're just kind of letting that happen. So what I'm thinking is we'll let uh, we'll let this day happen. We'll let day 71 happen. By then, how much fuel do I have? I'm at 57% fuel. A uh, total of 1 million liters. Perfect. Because the demand for today is probably going to be about... Oh, the demand is only 204 to... Well, that's because I've got my price pretty high. Let's go ahead and take that down to like 15%. Okay, yeah. That, that definitely adjusts it. If we go down to 10%... All right, so that'll increase uh, the, the demand for a little bit more. So that's good. Um, so like I said, we'll let this go for a little while. We're at 10.6 million. Nice. Uh, if we can get $10 million cash starting out, I think that'll be great. Um, so let's let this run, and then I'll be back to sell the airport. All right, so I went ahead and let it go an extra day because... Well, I'm a little greedy and I want money. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that um, it was actually a good thing that I did that. So our airport valuation is currently almost at 12 million. Um, and we are only negative $650,000 now, which is pretty amazing considering, you know, we were like 10 to $12 million in the hole. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that you have to kind of have to wait for the game to run for a little while in order to, to make some serious cash. But granted, you know, when you start out negative, it's hard to dig yourself out of that hole. So anyway, um, us having about $11.5 million to start out with is, is really going to help uh, start us out um, pretty well when it comes to uh, getting this airport done. Uh, again, land size, probably not going to be enough, especially with the extremely large runways that we're going to have to have in here. Um, and probably going to have to have a couple of extra runways in here as well. Ignore the ET phone home thing behind me if you can hear it, because it's a clock. I can't help it. I'm sorry. It just happens to go off every hour on the hour, and I didn't realize that it was that time already. So I apologize. All right. Anyway. <laughs> um, I could let the game keep going for a little bit, but I think we're good. I think we will go ahead and sell the airport first. Before I sell the airport, let me save the game. We will save it. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> and then here we go. Um, God, did eh, apparently I didn't uh, finish everything, but that's all right. All right. We will sell the airport. We have sold it for $11.8 million. And here we are. Welcome to Sim Airport. Welcome to Indianapolis International. We have $11.8 million in the bank. Oh, okay, so it didn't deduct anything from us. Interesting. All right. And the great thing about this is that, okay, yeah, we require a COO uh, for that, but all of our research, all of our research, if I can find the research... Where is the research? All the research is good to go, with the exception of, you know, the two that we didn't unlock. Um, which I should have, but it's okay. Not going to worry about it. <laughs> um, so we now have a completely blank slate to start on. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so what I want to start on now, really, is kind of the planning of things. Um, and... We're, I'm honestly going to do that for this episode or the rest of this episode and maybe even the next. I don't know. We'll kind of see how far along we get. Um, I know storage. I definitely want to move. Let's see. Zoning. Let's get rid of storage. Um, pickups. Um, I'm pretty sure I can put that on the downstairs, but we're going to have to leave. Drop off and pick up where it is. Garbage is going to move. Um, garbage is actually going to end up being like a, a spot maybe behind a gate or something. 
you know, somewhere where it's kind of out of the way, maybe even up here at the beginning. Um, only 570,000 to buy that, really. I'm half tempted to. <laughs> How much is this one? 504,000. I'm half tempted to buy that land, too. Did it keep my land or no? It must not have. I don't know. I don't think it did. Well, it still requires a COO in order for me to buy it, so I can't do it right now. So anyway, uh, if we go back to looking at our picture here, whoops, that is not what I wanted. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, if we go back to, here we go. There we go. All right, so first thing that I want to work on really is going to be, we have ticketing up front first. And then we have the uh, the concourse stuff here in the middle with security. So let's let's do let's do ticketing. If I'm gonna have, I'm, I'm gonna need four separate ticketing areas, and then in each of those areas, kind of like what I had before, really. Um, if we go. Let's do this and let's have, well, first of all, how, how many spaces do I have in between here? So I have 120. Okay. So 120 divided by two is 60. So here's my halfway point. So there's 60. Okay. So here's my center. So that and that, that is my center. So then let's say we're going to have obviously road coming in this way. So we'll have two roads coming in. We'll have, how do I do, let's see, we have a road here. I'm not exactly sure how. Huh. Looks like it creates a foundation. So, okay. There's got to be some type of tool or something that allows it to go underground, which is fine. All right. So drop off wise. See, the problem with this is that the airport has drop offs coming like in this way instead of coming in this way. Um, same with pickup, but I, I guess we can just go ahead and reverse it. No big deal. Um, okay, I don't want to overthink this too much because I tend to do that. I, I do. I tend to overthink things way too much. All right, let's have this come out to... Let's go there. So then if I want this to be equidistant, then we'll go uh, 1920. And then this will do the same thing. Is that uh, is that even? That is not even. Hang on. So this is two squares. So that's two squares. That is now 19, so we'll do 18, okay, we'll go like that, and that's how much, that's 20, okay, so we'll do 20, and that go up, so this should be, let's see if this is going to be enough room, uh, let's go cyan, and we'll have... So say we have a walkway down the center here. That's our walkway. And then I have... Oh, I see how this could be beneficial. I think I, can, I know how to do this. So if I go one, two, three, four, it's not going to be big enough. It's definitely not going to be big enough. I go four, five. 
Our Q is going to be here. Um, that's not going to be big enough either. Okay, so let's move these to, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Actually, that should be pink, but whatever. Okay, so the cues will go there. And then if we do... Well, because we can only have five of these hooked up to the same belt. Correct? Correct. So this comes out eight and then goes in. Hmm... There's our line for baggage. They cannot be right next to each other for baggage. So then here's our line for baggage. So then I do orange like this. Okay. And then this is going, how many did I say this is coming down? Seven. So let's say six down. I want pink. So then I go six down. So there's our Q. And then we'll do the same thing over here. So we'll leave, so we'll do six, clear that out. We have a walkway down this way. We'll have, um, say doors here and here. I'm thinking maybe we pull this back. So then we go five. I want orange. Thank you. Yeah, that, that works a little bit better. So then let's take this out. This is going to be six coming down this way. You see how planning this is going to be extremely vital to what we're doing. <laughs> we have to make sure we plan this out ahead of time. If not, then it's just going to be it's just going to be a cluster. It just is. But I think what we'll do is we'll work on we'll start working on concourse A first and then we'll go over to B. You know, because B is really just kind of going to mirror what we're doing with concourse A, right? Not to mention the fact that uh we want to be able to start building the airport up and making money <laughs> because we're going to have to have money in order to uh, to build this up entirely. All right, so we'll do those five. So we've got one, two, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Now, I want to make sure that we're keeping this at an even number. Number one, because I like even numbers. Number two, it just makes it easier, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Um... Let me make sure I'm actually recording this because I took I, I, I I'm switching screens so much now to where I'm like, am I actually doing this or not? <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we'll have this come down. Let's say 24, uh, 26. Yeah, we'll come down 26. Okay, so then that means this needs to go So this needs to be out say well, what if we do 26? What if we do 26 by 26 and make it a square? I think that'll work. I, uh, I, I, I do think that that'll work. Um, I, I'm thinking that this opening needs to be a little bit bigger here, though, because we're going to have to have... So this whole thing might have to shift. <laughs> oh, God. Really? 
Seriously. Yeah, it is because I'm going to have to be able to have an area going downstairs. So. <sighs> okay. Hang on. Okay, there. I think uh, I, I think I've gotten it. Um, well, I think I've got it, I should say. <laughs> so, um, the escalators are actually going to go, like, I think right here and go down, um, so that this can remain open still, uh, and then we'll still have our cues coming out this way. Um, and then I, I got to think about, uh, I have to think a little bit about, um, you know, what we're going to do with the, uh, the ticket kiosks, but I think that those can go, you know, I, I think we can put those like right here. So we can do like three, like four there. And then, um, we can do another four, like right here. And then maybe, maybe we can throw like a couple in between here or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of, we'll kind of th think that through a little bit. Um, obviously that that's not going to be a wall. It's just a, a, a placement point. Um, you know, think about, uh, so our actual walls, we'll have a wall here and then obviously a wall here, but that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll have a, a four door here, a uh, door here, probably another door over here. The wall itself over here, since I'm giving myself an extra, what, two, three, four, really four spaces, I think. And then a fifth space is going to be the center point. Um, so if I go one, two, three, four out, then that means the wall should actually stop about there. So that should be my wall. That should be my whole space right here. So that'll be, that'll be that. So that'll be completely enclosed. Um, with the exception of like once the people are done, they will actually exit uh, into, say, right here. We'll go, um, we'll clear that out there because that was that was for that. No, that's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. How was that five? Oh, because of the way this is. Never mind. All right. Um, but I still need... These are going to have to go underground, though. How's that going to work? Hold on. Um, so if these are going to go into here, so then one, two, three, four. Should be able to have a wall like this. Yeah. Yeah, we should be able to have it to where these go underneath here. So if I look at utilities, baggage, conveyor, down, yeah. There's So there was, a, there, there was an update that happened that I think this actually gives you the option or the ability to, once you, like when you put it down, it's actually going to um, put a foundation in the area of where you actually need it, which I think is a great idea. Uh, I think it's been needed for a while. That way it just does it rather than you having to guess at where it happens. Um, but if we do a conveyor down going here, then that's actually going to help out. That's going to be perfect right there. Cause I, I don't necessarily have to put it here, but I can put it here. So we can do one there and one there. And then that'll go down into the abyss <laughs> pretty much. Um, so we've got that. We actually have, so ticketing is, is done. Um, but then when we go and look at, um, the image of the concourse here, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be referencing this image a lot here. So yeah, people are going to be coming through here basically, uh, is, is what's going to happen. And then they'll come around the hallway and then in through here. Okay. Okay, so then that means then that we need to go. I'm I'm losing where my mouse is gonna go here. Um, 
So then that means people are going to come out here, come over this way. So this way should be, this might need to come back a little bit just to, to create a little bit of room um, to where this wall actually comes to here. So this wall will actually come out to here. All right. Um, and then people will make their way down. Let's see, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. We'll go like this. So they'll come down and come out to here. And let's see, that's eight to 12. To actually have this come out to 16 and then we'll do 28. Now let's do 30. And like I said, this will, this will kind of mirror each other. So then, um, so if this comes down to 30, we'll have shop, 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 or we'll have a couple shops, a couple shops. And then yes, we're definitely going to have to buy this land. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then I'm thinking we go, do we do 30 or do we keep going? Do we go to like 40? Maybe I go 40 out and then 20, like right here at 20, we'll go back to and then at 20, we'll go up to, and then here's security, shops, shops. That's plenty of room for shops to go in here. Like we can have two or three, like a couple long ones in here, a couple long ones in there. And then security is going to be right here. So this will come out. Security will be here. How long is that? 35. Let's go 34. Um, which, I mean, security is not going to be... Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll do that, and then we'll do... Uh, this is going to be coming out this way. I... <sighs> This might be big enough for security. I kind of want to get the wall line lined uh, out for right now, <laughs> just so we can uh, kind of move this along a little bit. Because I, I took a lot longer planning on uh, ticketing than what I thought I was going to. Um, but this just will kind of give us a general idea. Um, so then if I have security here, then that means this will come out this way. We'll have one, two, three, two, three, four, five. This will be the hallway going out right here. This will be just some type of storage area. And then this might have to bump out a little bit further, but So we'll have this. This is actually supposed to be a hallway coming out this way because that's supposed to be going this way. Good Lord. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then we'll do It's my wall. So then the wall comes out here. I'm going to have to buy that land. Because the actual concourse itself doesn't happen until it actually gets out to here. Which is crazy. That's, that's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Wow. Really? Okay. All right. Um, and then we can always create our like offices and stuff like that. Like in this large area that we're not going to have anybody in. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the, okay. So this airport is definitely starting to be a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to. Um, but I like it though. I like it. Uh, we are coming on like, this is, 
turning out to be an extremely long episode, I think. Um, but you get the idea of what we're doing and what's going on. Um, I think what I'll do off camera is maybe get a couple of offices like thrown in here and then purchase a little bit of land to where um, we can actually get the rest of this planning taken care of. Because from here, from this point, um, I actually do need it to where... So basically, this is the wall of what's going to happen uh, with the terminal. And then our gates are going to go right here. So we need to purchase this piece of land. Um, really, we need to purchase this one and then these two for now. <laughs> and then I don't know exactly where the runways are going to go yet, but we'll figure that out. <laughs> So for now, let me know what you think so far, the planning piece of this, uh, questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do, put it in the comment section down below. Um, we are going to have to go through probably, I know of at least one more planning session. Um, from there, let's hope that we don't have to do any more. Uh, I, I do really want to start construction on this soon. But I hope, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I know I am. This is actually a really nice challenge and a lot of fun so yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and do so stick around for uh looking to see what we can do here with indianapolis international airport here in sim airport that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching everyone and i'll see you next time